Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a string program to accept a sentence and display the frequency of each letter. So, we'll see a question. Write a program to input a sentence. Count and display the frequency of each letter of the sentence in alphabetical order. So, you are not one more thing here. Not only you are going to display the frequency of each letter, but you are going to display it in alphabetical order. So, you have to uh, take note of that. Now, sample input, you can see computer applications and sample output, you can see left hand side is character and right hand side is the frequency. It is given two columns, but when you display it in the program, you can get, uh, put it in two columns and display it one below the other. So, you can see that it is displayed in alphabetical order. So, first we will discuss how to solve this. You will see the algorithm and then we will go into the program. So, first you have to accept a sentence, then find the length, put it inside the loop where it should start from 0 to length, extract the character. So, till that it is same for all the programs. After extracting the character, you got two methods. One is you can use uh, two loops. Okay, well, First loop will be character loop and then second loop you can uh, take the character one by one, compare it from A to Z and then you can display it. Second type is you are going to uh, execute the outer loop from 65 to 90. So, 65 to, uh, 65 to 90 is nothing but the ASCII values of capital A to Z. And inner loop you are going to take the number, take the character one by one and then you are going to compare it, uh, convert it into ASCII value. Okay, And then compare it and then you are going to uh, count the alphabet. For example, if you are going to start with A, 65 is A and the first character is uh, C, which will have the value 67. So, you are going to compare one by one. Whenever it, uh, it reaches 65, it will count. Okay. So, you can keep count and then you are going to finally display it outside the inner loop. Okay. And then you are going to reset the counter value. Okay. This is what you are going to do and you are going to see how the program in bluej so in bluej i created a class uh, i got import java util dot scanner and then i created a class freak alpha and then i got system uh, uh, public static void main function inside that i got two variables as we discussed before you are going to have a count variable and ascii variable both you are going to initialize with the default value zero so both are integers so you are de uh, defined with uh, default values zero then you are going to use uh, scanner object Okay, so you are going to uh, accept the sentence. So it is a sentence, so you have to use next line. Okay, and store it in str that is of string variable. Now uh, it is a string variable of string type. Okay, and then you are going to use an uh, integer length. So you are going to find the length immediately after the input. So str.length will return the length of the sentence and it will be stored in len. And then uh, before you go into the loop, you are going to display the heading because you need in tabular column, right? You got uh, left hand side and right hand side will be frequency. So you need in two columns. So display the title before the loop itself so that it won't be repeated again and again. It will be displayed only once. And now uh, we are going to have an outer loop. So you are going to go for the second method that is uh, you are going to uh, execute the loop from uh, i equal to 65 i less than or equal to 90 and i plus plus here it will go on uh, executing the loop from 65 to 90 so 65 is nothing but the ascii value of a so you're going to start with a check how many number of a's available count it and then display okay now inside you got another loop where you're going to start from zero going go on till the length of the sentence every time so uh, 26 times you're going to do the same thing okay so from you're going to check a first Come uh, check each and every character whether it is equal to A, count and then display. Then you are going for B. Then you are going to go for C. So you are going to do uh, for all the alphabets and you are going to check all the characters in the sentence. So that is why you, are, you see in a loop from J equal to 0, J less than uh, len and J plus plus. Now inside the in a loop you can see char, char, char ch equal to uh, str dot. Uh, char at j okay so here it will take extract the characters one by from uh, one by one from the uh, zeroth position till the len minus one okay now uh, immediately after uh, taking the character out you are going to convert this into an integer value so suppose uh, the first letter is c computer application first letter is c now ch has the value uh, c the capital c which will be converted to integer 
so you will have the ascii value 67 here okay now i value 65 and uh, ascii value 67 you are going to check whether it is equal if it is not equal you are going to continue with the next uh, character so you will go for o okay so it goes on like that till the final character in the string okay you suppose uh, if you if anyway it finds a that is 65 uh, i value 65 ascii value whenever you go uh, check uh, take one one character from the string when it reaches a this uh, ascii will ascii equal to equal to i becomes true so once it becomes true you are going to count okay say i think uh, in this uh, example you can see one a that is application a will be there so it will count once after that, it, after the loop is com uh, completed, that means you, uh, you already checked for A for all the characters, okay, with all the characters in the sentence, you are going to go out of, out of the inner loop, check whether the count value is greater than 0, that means whether the character is available, if it is not available, not necessary to display it, if it is available only, you are going to display, otherwise you know you need to display all the 26 characters, it is not necessary. So count, if it is greater than 0, then you are going to display the uh, left hand side, you got characters, you can see characters. So here you can see i value will be a, okay. And then you are going to convert into the character, because i value 65, it has to be converted to character before displaying it. So it will become a. And right hand side, you can see the count, okay, you are going to count here and that value will be displayed here. Since uh, you already have some value in count, you are going to reset that value every time so that next time it enters, say second time i value becomes 66, that means it is b, you are going to check for b. So that time the count value should be 0, okay. So it goes on like that till uh, a to z, okay. Finally, it will, uh, after the inner loop completed, you are going to display one by one if the value is, uh, count value is greater than 0, okay. So you are going to compile this program. No syntax errors, now executed. So I am going to enter the string which is given. So uppercase, so uh, computer applications. Now press enter, you can see as I said, uh, character frequency is the title which will be displayed only once. So that's why I uh, print on the above the loops. And you can see what are the characters available will be displayed one below the other. Uh, you can see A, uh, which is repeated two times, you can see frequencies too, you can see here in the input, uh, applications A and cation, uh, CA again, so you got two A's here, so you, it is uh, been counted as two and it will be displayed. And B, B is not available in this string, so you are skipping that B, you are not going to display B and then you can see uh, C here, which is repeated two times, so you can see frequencies too, then you don't have E, sorry D and then you got E here only once, so it is counted as one. So it goes on from A to Z and if the frequency, if the, if the character is available in this given string, it will be displayed. So you can try out any any string you want, you will get the output. Hope you understood uh, the program to count number and uh, count and display the number of uh, frequ uh, frequency of each characters in the given string. We will meet in the next video. Till then, thank you.